net worth. Uh, it depends on the day, but you know, <laughs> we, we have some crypto, so you know. Uh, about one point four. Okay. So give or take billion. And how old are you? Just turned twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty eight. So it's definitely possible to be a millionaire and live the life under thirty. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel again. Again, this is Aditya Soma, a real estate master, and you know, running a real estate team in Windsor, Ontario. But today, you know, like I mentioned, I promise I don't want to go too much into there. Like I promise, you're intrigued because these guys who are sitting here, trust me, they changed my life. And I'm pretty sure if you stick end of this video, their point of view will change your life as well. So, without any ado, let me ask Cassidy, Matt. First of all, thank you for you know. Giving me an opportunity to this video and having me here, you know, I will get right into the some important questions that you know bugging me, and also many people are suffering, which is like you know designing the life around you know what you want, and still not compromising on the business. So let's start off with this: like, where are you guys currently? What's your life look like? How many countries have you traveled? What's your net worth? Is if you don't mind sharing. Sure. Well. Okay, as for let's start countries traveled. I don't actually. We don't actually keep track. Actually, we're supposed to go out here. We're gonna start putting some pins. Because yeah, we're not done yet. But I, at least I don't know. Twenty. Probably 20? twenty. Somewhere around that, right? Okay, Fifteen so. or twenty. We don't keep track. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just go with it. Net worth uh, depends on the day, but you know, <laughs> we, we have some crypto, so you know, uh, about one point four. Okay. So give or take billion. And how old are you? Just turned twenty nine. 29. So, it's definitely possible to be a millionaire and live the life under 30. So, take me back. How do you guys start it? After university, we we dropped out of university because we realized we wanted to be entrepreneurs. We got so, the chance to run our own painting business, and it was through that that we saw, oh, you know, if, if we can do this, if we can go knock on doors, ask people if they want some people with no experience to paint their house. And, Run a six-figure business when we're eighteen. Like, okay, if we could do that. We could, we could probably do anything. Wow. And that that was like one of those wake-up calls of like, oh yeah, we're in charge of our life. If we, we say we want to do something, we set our mind to it. We have an action plan. We can do anything we want. And it was yeah. like at that point where I, I wasn't sure if I could ever do it, mm -hmm. knowing like the feeling that I had there of can I do it to six months later crushing it. That was a very big lesson to. Oh, I can do this again. So you built a painting business, like six figure business within like six months when you're eighteen. Yeah. Wow. What like what got you there, first of all? Super big shout out to Steve Works Painting. Uh, really great program, summer management program, definitely life changing for us. So. Also, like as a student, you have this opportunity to work. Yeah, it's like a franchise. Wow. Like where they teach you skills of entrepreneurship, sales oh. skills, everything. So it's a great opportunity. Yeah. It's like learn while you're learning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, the school of hard knocks. So, yeah. so we found that we were learning more in that one summer than all of the school that we had done. And we saw just kind of the path that was ahead of us mm -hmm. if we went down the typical route. Not that school wasn't a good choice, but it was just we saw where that was going to take us and it wasn't quite the life we wanted. Mm -hmm. So we decided to drop out of there and start learning about some. So you literally dropped the college? Yeah. yeah. Year and a half, we were getting great grades. We yeah. were even on scholarships, but we were like, you know what? This isn't really what we want. Like, we want the freedom. We want to be our own bosses. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to travel full time. All these different things that we saw. Well, if we're just going to go the standard route and get a job, it's probably not going to happen. So, Man, we so again, yeah, that's crazy, right? Like, and I know you because you also dropped from the sales. Which you are doing six figure income as well. So, okay, I don't want to go that far, but let's take a step by step. So, how did you guys get in from there, students making, and you literally dropped from college? Yeah. yeah. So, and you were together at that time? Yeah, yeah, we've been together since 16. Since 16, yeah. Right? 12 years now. 12 years yeah. now. And wow. so, that's that for us, value wise, like that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter what else happens, like we got each other. And so, knowing that, like that was. Uh, it's kind of like a, a hidden superpower. Yeah, and that's like part of it, having your values just so clear is such an important guidance system because we've always put our relationship first and our like day-to-day -day experience of life 
first and our health first. Mm -hmm. and so then, whenever those get out of whack, then we know it's time to kind of course correct. So we've seen us make a few changes along the way. It's like, okay, we're kind of going too far in one direction and our values, fundamentals, health, or, you know, anything starts to suffer, then we know it's time to change. Yeah. But, you know, at that age, like, you know, how do you know what you want? Like, how did you got that ideology of what yeah. you want this life or That's a great question. Is, so we didn't know most of the time. We didn't know what the next steps were. And one of the analogies that always stuck in my head was think about driving in a car at night with your headlights. You can yeah. see what, like 20 meters ahead. Yeah. You don't know what's beyond that next 20 meters. All you can see is that 20 meters, but you just keep driving. And when you keep driving, you see the next 20 meters, right? Yeah. And that was, it's just that trust. And eventually you get to where you want to go. Yeah. yeah, it's just that trust in like, as long as I keep doing what feels like the next right thing mm -hmm. for me, and I just like stay true to like, what feels good for me, not what anybody else is telling me I should do, not what I that see this person doing. In society, right, when we're bombarded with all the inputs and what are other people doing, so like oh. sometimes it, it takes conscious efforts to just put your blinders on and say, like, what do I want? What do, what do I, I want? want? You know, without... That's a deep subject that yeah. I always try to want to talk to, right? Like, yeah. Especially coming from Indian background, uh, again, back home we are bombarded with a lot of people. Yeah. People, <laughs> which you have seen that. And, and everyone have opinion about exactly. your life and everyone yeah. had expectations including the parents you want this way and that way like out of all this i'm pretty sure you guys have it, you know maybe a somewhere similar mm -hmm. yeah for sure how do you focus like something that i found really helpful only take advice from people living the life that you want to live oh yeah love it I, that's what i did that's yeah. why yeah. i did <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Appreciate and that. also like when it comes to parents for example like knowing that sometimes like your parents will feel like they know what's best for you. And for a certain amount of your life, they did. Yeah. So like from zero to... But there comes ten. a point where that you become the driver, right? Yeah. You and you need to own that role. And you need to recognize that your parents, they want what they think is best for you because they love you. Yeah. And what they ultimately want is for you to just be happy. Yeah. And they might think they know how that will happen, but nobody can truly know how you're going to be happy by yourself, but right? Yourself, you're yeah. the only one. So it's like the best thing you can do to please your parents really yeah. in the long run is to just like live your most authentically happy life. Even yeah. if sometimes it's tough because sometimes yeah. they want to agree with you for a long time. You know, our parents didn't agree with our choices, but now they're starting to come around. Uh, okay, no, I, I just, see, you know, I see, you know. know. So sometimes you just have to have that confidence, conviction, and maybe a bit of risk tolerance to like be okay with not caring what people think. Be okay with looking, you know, a little weird silly, for a while. Or but that's okay whatever. because it doesn't matter. Again, it comes yeah. back to what you Again, want. That's the thing with like the, the self talk, self yeah. thinking, uh, what's best for me. If you're asking that question constantly, like mm -hmm. you said, like you know, 20 meters, what is that pretty meters for me? Yeah. If you don't ask yourself that, that's what you guys do pretty early in age. Yeah. yeah. That, that's kudos to you. But what are the some of the things that you have done that helped you to because you know with this noise, right? Like you mm -hmm. know, I'm 32. Like you know, for me until 27, 28, I have no clue what what the heck I want. Mm -hmm. No clue. Yeah. But again, you know. You guys figured it out pretty early. Like, what are the few things that helped you to look at that? You know, oh, you know what? I want to go in this direction. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely, I felt like when you quit your sales business because you were doing pretty well and you just could put it. And I'm like, I thought at least at that point she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your thought process, right? Like, you know, how how did you build that mindset? Yeah. Well, there's a few things. So one, one main thing is spending a lot of time with yourself in silence without distractions, without phones, internet, social media, et cetera. That's a tough Just one. Spending time with yourself. It's the hard work. It's, yeah. it's the hard work, you know, yeah. like yeah. just being with yourself, journaling, um, reading too, but even that, like, even that is somebody else's input, right? So really time with yourself. That's one. Um, and then another thing is we've learned a lot of different tools like 
Um, one is eulogy exercise. So thinking ahead, imagining your own funeral and then Ooh. picturing all the people in your life that you've impacted there at your funeral. What does each of them get up and say about you? Right? Like in seeing it really being there, Ooh. right? Yeah. The best version of you, you could have been and imagining in that moment, it's too late to do anything about it. And what does that feel like? And then you bring yourself back to, to today and realize right now in this moment, you can do something about that. How can you step into that best version of yourself? So some of that's that's all these questions, deep. right? That's, 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 that's <laughs> this is the hard work. Yeah. This is the I'd rather do this hard work, work than the hard work I used to do though. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that problem. Yeah, I get you know, that's one thing I learned from you guys. You know, taking time for myself. You know, it could be doing just going for a walk. You know, just mm. taking time to analyze yourself and do what you get to do after it's meditation. Mm -hmm. So that's great. That, that's you know, honestly, that's something I, I know many people have to hear this and have to follow it, not just like you know, listen and get it away. And there's uh, one more thing I want to add mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. The, that trio of things okay. and that is asking starting with the question rather than thinking ahead what do I want my life to be like in five years that's a little bit hard to connect to like um, an imagined future of yourself you might have some ideas but a great place to start is how do I want to feel on a daily basis like how do I really want to feel right because ultimately the things we think that we want why do we want them? Because we imagine they'll make us feel a certain way. So, but if we start with what we think we want, we might not end up getting the feeling we thought we would from those things. So instead we start with the question, how do I want to feel every day? And then getting really clear on that, writing down, I want to feel joyful. I want to feel totally in love. I want to feel vibrantly alive. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, how can I start feeling more of that today? What can I do today to start feeling yeah. more of that? And then how can I do even more tomorrow and in the next year or five years? That totally makes sense because, you know, now like you're focusing on today. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the only day you ever have. Because yes. the, the trap is, okay, one day if I do this and then I achieve these goals, then I'll be happy. And people just kind of push that into the future. I've seen it happen. A lot and I, I, you know, was like that for a while too. Like, okay, if I just work hard enough, then I'll achieve this and then realize, okay, it's a false sense of happiness. Cause even when you achieve it, you're like, oh, okay, cool, on to the next thing. Cause you've got that pattern of one day I'll be, I'll be happy later. And then you just practice that. It's that like, no, no, there's only ever now in this moment. I'll be happy now. And then I'll guarantee that I'll be happy in the future because I'm always happy. That's so how did you get into real estate? Yeah. First, we read Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yep. Yeah. And recommended yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. people. Yeah. The vice president of Student Works at the time retired in his 30s mm -hmm. uh, from real estate. So yeah, we wow. saw somebody doing something that we wanted to do. Hey, we want to have the freedom in our 30s to yeah. do what we want, when we want. And then one day we were on like Kijiji and we saw an ad for a free real estate seminar. Yep. Oh. And so we went to it and then we <laughs> spent bought a 30,000 bucks on courses. <laughs> 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 Thousand dollars. Yeah, well, at that too. time, though, we didn't know anybody other than the vice president of Student Works, but we weren't super close with him yet mm -hmm. at that point. So we didn't know anybody else who was doing it. At that point, there was really not, not much on oh, YouTube. You get Thirty thousand to those, those are painting, painting business, business projects. Oh, so you made what all you made? You just put invested back in it. Yeah. So investing back into your education. Yeah. Number wow. one investment you've ever made. And sure. this is right. like when you were nineteen. In you know, 20, 20, there, yeah. 20, yeah. yeah. Nine, 20, like you literally spent yeah. all you all the money that you made. Yeah. In the but I get granted on like 500 bucks worth of knowledge. So definitely didn't need to spend that. Okay. But it also helped us get very committed to making it work. God. Yeah. 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 I mean, again, you know, with the YouTube nowadays. For sure. Uh, yeah. There's exactly. a lot more free resources. So, now. yeah. YouTube, I learned so much on YouTube today. Yeah. And then I also, the optimize. Optimization oh, app. Optimize, check it out. So optimization? Yeah. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Link. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I was they were showing me today like it's it's a cool app, like yeah. a lot of uh, great resources. I get you know, yeah, that's 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 totally great. But like you know, the mindset of investing into your education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, that's so the one thing again, you can make all investments anywhere and it might work out, you know, probably will if you do the right things, but your education is something you'll have forever and it's 
probably like the biggest compounding effect that you can have because you're improving yourself. And like one of the courses we went to talks about uh, my inner world creates my outer world. So many people think, okay, if I just go and do this and grind and hustle, okay, I'll get what I want, but no, it's actually just our inner yeah. world, just like a tree, right? Yeah. The roots. I mean, the fruits. fruits. So, wow. yeah, this awesome. <laughs> uh, so this was like Millionaire Mind, another great book. Yeah. Um, so they taught us that and the whole be, do, have model. So again, people think, okay, if I go do this and have this and make yeah. this happen, but it's like, no, who do I need to be? Uh, and then what do I need to do in order to create what I want? So that, again, just those frameworks have been really helpful. When, and we've um, never regretted investing in our education. Yeah. That's always, yeah. that's it's one fun. thing we don't hesitate on. Like a lot of things, in a lot of areas, we're quite frugal, mm -hmm. but in some areas where we know it's a good ROI, not just on money, but on um, our well-being, yeah, yeah. our health, and our wisdom. We don't hesitate, and, or our relationship. Yeah. We don't hesitate to spend the money. So we'll drop tens, like tens of thousands, tens of thousands on of thousands. courses. Yeah, because yeah. again, you can't put a price on that stuff. But you could, like in theory, say, well, it's probably worth more than all the money I've ever made. So if it's worth millions of dollars, for our relationship and our health and stuff. So, so going back to just uh, step on, like, you know, just I want to touch on a little bit on, like, you know, uh, from the education, how you got started because, you know, you really didn't have credit, you didn't have money. Yeah, we had right? no money, no credit. Um, we just had a lot of energy and a lot of <laughs> hustle. Yeah. So we just started going out and looking at properties and we started writing offers even though we didn't know how we could buy something. I <laughs> we remember that we story. Gonna, yeah, we were yeah. gonna build a real estate empire. Yeah. We didn't know how, we, but we had the vision, so we are just gonna do what it took. And the best yeah. thing is that process, even though we didn't know how we could buy anything yeah. yet, going out and looking at properties, we were analyzing deals and we just started getting really familiar with what's a what's good it? investment, what's not, what's worth looking at, the whole process, right? So by the time we actually did find a source of money to buy something with, we were really good at spotting deals. And again, doing so from a state of, I am a real estate investor. This is, again, yeah. the B to Start have, with the identity. I am yeah, an investor. investor. And what do I do? I look at deals, I write offers, I, you know, crunch the numbers. And then eventually you'll have a problem. But acting from that. So give us an idea, like how you got, because you know, yeah. at that age, getting the first property, I feel is the toughest part. Yeah. What did you used to do? Today? So there's this call we read, but it's definitely a money people deal. Oh yeah. And yeah, and we ended up meeting him. That's yeah. pretty cool. So they're- Sharing the stage with him. Sharing the stage, sure. That's yeah. true, we did do that. Yeah. So there were those three ingredients to making real estate happen. You gotta find, I think most importantly, a really good deal. And then you gotta find the people to execute on it. Your team, your power team, your your awesome. real estate agent <laughs> and your broker and uh, insurance agent, everybody. And then if you have those things, then the only piece that's missing is the money. Yeah. So at all times, I kind of treated the real estate business like three mini businesses, finding good deals, building my team and raising money. And then just constantly mm -hmm. doing stuff for um, The challenge was, so at the beginning, without any experience, yeah, it's a little right. bit harder to find yeah. an investor. <laughs> and as Steph Mario says in the book, he said, if you can come up with two of those, the third one should be easy enough to get. So what were the two things that you found out for yourself? So we could find the really good deals and we could figure out the team to put it in place. We just didn't have just the money. Didn't have the money. Yeah. Yeah. So we realized one day Matt's parents were talking about how they almost were almost finished paying off their Home, home mortgage. Their primary yeah, home. They were like, that. oh, we're almost done paying off the mortgage. And we were like, hmm, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> if you refinance that, we could invest that money into real estate for you. And that, their first response was just, no, no, no. no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their 20 year old son, <laughs> uh, just, who's like, you know, traveling broke, going to music festivals, like, you know, carefree. No, no, no. <laughs> but, fair. Uh, yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we then spent six months looking at deals, immersing ourselves, learning, and kept showing them, hey, here's a 20% So you ROI. both see deals. Yeah. We were just like, like we just kept going. So yeah. we would print off good deals and like leave them on their table with it. Here's how much was, you could yeah. make on this. And here's back, the back in the days where we were getting triplexes for 100,000. Yeah. Uh, you know, yes. I didn't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> so like, and then Matt the deals even, were there. Matt even wrote out, typed out this document, your 10 year re retirement plan. And he wow. showed them the math. If you took out 
I think it was one hundred eighty thousand yep. dollars from your house. How we can turn that? Here's how we can turn that into a million bucks in ten years. Yeah, and then you'll be retired. Wow. And we did it in seven. Seven. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we were very naive. We thought things would go perfectly, as as I think everybody does. And yeah, that's that's part of the process too. Is having that hope. That okay, excitement and then reality hits, and then it's it might be a grind. But as long as you know, okay. like yeah. you know that you have the ability to figure it out, right? Yes, you that's a big one. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, and again, always focusing on the important things: the value, our relationship, our health, our uh, state, state of being. Yeah, but again, you know, biggest thing is at that age, you know, at that point, like you know, when you're trying to find this money, yeah, and it's like. It takes time. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of people give up. Yeah, because six months. Hey, hey, you have a good relation. Yeah, you know you're you're doing the right thing, but you don't you're not seeing the results. Yeah. So, what made you to continue to stick to that? You know, being that persistent. What was the yeah? It's process? the vision, and yeah. it's the bigger the vision beyond the vision. So the reason we got into real estate wasn't to own a bunch of properties and to make money. Those are some of the you know good side effects, yeah. but the main reason was we wanted to be able to travel mm -hmm. for as much of the time as we wanted to, yeah. and eventually we always do. We wanted to get a big piece of land and build like an eco village, yeah. and we know and we knew we didn't want money to be a limiting factor in all those things. We wanted yeah. to be able to create whatever we wanted and to pursue our passions without being limited by finances. So that was the vision beyond the vision, like the thing that kept pulling oh, us. Yeah. And we saw real estate investing as a great vehicle, vehicle to yeah. make that happen. And you believed in it. We believed mm -hmm. in it, yeah. And we saw, well, other people have made it happen. Yeah. If they can do it, we can do it. And yeah. we also, I think, understood like the compound effect, right? Even after, even after getting our first few deals, mm -hmm. it was like, okay, cool, we're doing something. But then a few years in, we were doing a lot of work, you know, it's like, a lot of work yeah. and not see, we're like, okay, we have a bunch of properties now, but yeah. we're really not making much money. What's happening? Because at that time, like the, the application was that, that crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, but then all of a sudden, like five or so years in, it really like went from this to, oh yeah, you start <laughs> to see that compound growth. Yeah, so you Start need to stick it out. And, yep, having Give the it confidence, like, okay, I can manage properties. Okay, I can get investors' money. Well, let me stretch a little bit more. Let me buy a bigger deal and let me raise more money. Just keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, and by doing so, you expand your comfort zone and ultimately your results. Yeah, that's insane. So again, I know you know what you guys done, how many properties invested, and all right. It is the basic idea. Yeah. Um, just, you know, can you give us like a quick um, talk, like, you know, how many deals that you guys have done? The last time? Yeah, I just did a result. I just tallied up all the results of them. I think we did 22 deals, um, probably a total of around 100 units, but currently wow. we have about 60, 65, wow. somewhere in that range. Um, and, and pretty much all of them with JV, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things I'm most proud of is the high returns we're able to get for our investors. Yeah. And I think like when I come at it from that approach, uh, it's way more rewarding as well because it's not just about, okay, us, 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 let's you know, do great things. It's, for me, it's really cool and really awesome to hear my investors and just like, yeah, so one of your are. investors is your parents. So what your, how is their life yeah. up? Yeah. And my parents is now. Well, oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. 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 And uncle and some of our really good friends. What you guys are focusing right now? Yeah. Because I heard some great things, so. Yeah. Well, we always like to have a lot of projects on the go. Actually, we've got our vision board there of some things that oh, we're, yeah, you know, we're, yeah. uh, we're moving towards. Um, so we, of course, have our real estate investment. Yep. Business that continue to grow that grow. and we're starting to morph that. So one of the things we realized as we grew, it became really important to start diversifying and start bringing in other aspects because, uh, yeah, one of the best things you can do is just be prepared no matter what. So, yeah. um, one of my business partners and I now are actually launching a fund. So we're wow. in the process of doing alternative investment fund and focusing on impact investing as well. So we're we're launching more a, bigger things on yeah. The so we're launching a thirty million dollar fund this year wow. to uh, to really kind of accelerate wow. that and keep doing what we do. And then I'm a relationship coach, love yeah. sex and relationship coach, and so I coach women and couples 
And um, I've got a course coming up actually for women, a six week long course about. And my wife will be the first one to yeah. join the course. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then together we do abundant couples where it kind of again combines yeah, yeah, yeah. those two aspects of the relationship and creating the future and how to you know, do all the. Uh, yeah, just thrive in all the areas as a as a unit. We're gonna have some courses coming up for couples to be able to like create a shared vision for their future, to be able to get aligned around their finances, to feel inspired and like collaborative, like they're on the same team around their finances and yeah. really like and make read, their dream life happen. I read yeah. your Instagram, you know, abundance couple. I did it. Spell the name correct? Abundant couples. Abundant yeah. couples. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. We've got a podcast, Casta's, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, I, 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 I put a couple of them. Working on their, a book, yeah. you know, maybe in a year or so. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty, pretty good, like the, especially the posts and the podcast. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'll yeah, put awesome. that in the link. Guys, make sure, especially if you're, if, because I heard like a lot of the biggest challenge I heard from a lot of investors like how do I have my post on the Yeah, that's, huge. that's, that's a That's a big part. Like, for me, I you know, my post work like then. completely yeah, uh, you know, supporting uh, yeah. or else, you know, I, I see the same thing for you yeah. guys. I've been seeing that same thing. So people who are like together has a stronger yeah. uh, results and it's better sure. life. Even if you don't necessarily run the business together, yeah. but, being on the same team yeah. around it, like it really getting supporting alignment each other. and supporting yeah. each other yeah. to thrive and be your best self. Like that's, that's really important. If you're starving, then like guys, I would strongly recommend those or those, like check on that. Instagram page, reach out to them if you need any help. Um, we do one on one coaching. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, again, mm -hmm. especially you know, if you're lacking that, and if you think that you know, that's really suffering your goals, like you're compromising yourself, then reach out. Um, I love to chat this more and more. Definitely, I want to have you guys on uh, because you know, I know we haven't talked too many things, and which I, um, you know, I would love, I don't want to prolong this one. But uh, I will definitely chat again. For sure. Any, any last few words that you want to share for someone young who want to become a millionaire, get into real estate, you know, have the financial life? Any some wisdom words that you want to share? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do we wish we knew? Yeah. We were getting started. The two things that came to my mind first were number one, trust yourself, continue growing always. And then recognize that there will always be challenges, but that's not a bad thing. Like challenges are what gives life flavor. And if you can learn to embrace your challenges and mine them for the golden nuggets and really grow through every challenge, then like life hack, you know, yeah, life yeah, just always yeah, gets better. Yeah. Wow, this is so good. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your data. Guys, hope you enjoyed and definitely, you know, and there was actually one old video yeah. like I, we did, uh, I think almost three years ago or four years ago when I started the YouTube channel very new. So I'll put the link. There's like a lot more details about their deals, you know, how we structured. I know there is a lot more stories there. So go check out that. Until mm -hmm. then, you know, uh, we'll see you later. Make sure to follow them on the, you know, to, to get more nuggets on their business and, you know, the, the uh, relationship side. And you'll see you later. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Daddy. Pleasure. <laughs>